Hey y'all, so my wife and I have bought this house. We noticed immediately that we were having this electrical problems where like half the house was losing electricity and um, none of the breakers were flipping or tripping or anything like that. And then like two hours later or whatever hours later, the power would come back. But every time we lost it, you know, it'd be like always anything with 220, this, the stove, AC, anything like that would cut off and then just like random lights across the house and outlets and stuff just wouldn't work no more. So um, there was this one YouTube video where this guy went and got one of these little doodads as he called it. And um, he said to when the power goes out to check all the outlets and if you get an outlet that's getting power but it's not powering whatever's supposed to be plugged in there, swap out that outlet and that'll fix your problem. Now, he didn't actually say it that fixed his problem. There was no, like, update to the video. So, sure enough, I did that. I found an outlet that was getting power, uh, but it wasn't powering the washing machine, which was plugged into it. Swapped out that outlet, and it didn't fix the problem. I was still losing power. So, I had to buy a voltage reader. Keep in mind, I'm 100% amateur electricity. Don't know jack diddly about it. I had to go get a voltage reader. And on one of my legs to my breaker box in my garage, one bus was getting 120, the other bus was only getting like 30. And when I put them together, instead of it saying 240, it was only saying like 80 or 90. So I knew that there had to be a problem with the breaker box that was outside on the side of my house. So I came to check the breaker box outside and sure enough, this thing was longer, it was about that long, and it was all melted. See that's all jacked up? And that thing was all burnt. And then uh, sorry about that. Uh, this cable was getting melted away. And this was the lug that it was plugged into. That was melting off. So I knew I had to swap out this box. This uh, box, by the way, is called a Federal Pacific. They are banned. They're now banned in the state of Florida. They're probably banned in the entire U.S. Because after 30 years, one out of four of them catches fire. Also, when my AC would cut on, all the lights would flicker for just like a brief second. So I had to get a new box, put that in. Now the lights don't flicker anymore. Um... I, again, I didn't know anything about electricity, so I wanted to get an electrician to help me. Luckily, I found a guy. Uh, he only charged me $300. Now, I did most of the physical labor myself because dude was like 90 years old. And these cables right here, they're very, very hard to bend. It takes some real strength to get these things bent in like that. Um, luckily for me, he supplied the cables. Real quick, what you do here is you just pop open this panel for the meter and you just pull the meter right out. It just pops right out and that'll cut off the power to your to your your home, the whole place, right? Cut off all the power here so you can safely do this job. So anyway, that was uh, my issue. Um, I hope this fixes y'all issue. By the way, when you pop this thing open, there's supposed to be absolutely no discoloration whatsoever. That other one, it was all burnt up in there, man. So if you see anything like that, that's definitely your problem, all right? So good luck to y'all.